Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Lee Queen here and I'm back with another quick tips video. In this video, I'm gonna show you the most effective ways to browse on your browser. But before this video begins, please be sure to like if you love the content, subscribe if you're new and to share this video with others. Also note that the instrumentals for this video have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, I realize that a lot of blind persons, when they're navigating on the internet, whether your browser is Firefox, Google Chrome, or whatever, they're moving so slow because when they go on a web page, they're just using their down arrow and going down line by line by line to get to everything. And I really don't want to see that. I want to see you guys navigating around your browser faster and like a professional. So that's what I'm going to show you to do today. First, let me open up my browser. New tab dash Google Chrome. Now, to show you the first couple of things, let me first just type in a search. So let me type in OBS, for example. Oh. S. Google.com slash search Q equals OBS. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you. Say, for example, you typed in OBS and you want to actually edit your search that you typed in and you don't want to go all the way up to the address bar because you know the address bar is a URL and you'd have to go through all of those different plus and all of that to change what you need to change. You don't have to down arrow until you get all the way down to the search bar. You could use the quick single letter navigation key, which is E to jump to edit boxes. So I'll press that. Search landmark search combo box has auto complete editable OBS. And there we go. Now, for example, I'm using Google Chrome. What if you want to be able to go into the Chrome settings or to change your account? And you know that those are buttons, right? Well, the quick single letter navigation that NVIDIA provides for us to jump to buttons is B. So you would press B until you get to that settings button. Or possibly if you want to go to Google Drive or something, you'd go to Google Apps. So let me press B until I get there. Clear button. Search by voice. Google search. Menu buttons. Clickable Google Apps button collapse. There we go. Now to the next thing. You typed in your search. What I realized that most persons do when they type their search, they press their H key to jump down by headings to go through the search like this. Search modes heading, main landmark clickable search results, clickable web result with site. Now, you see the problem with that. It goes to search results, web results. I don't want to go through all of that. I want to go straight to the different search results that you have for me. Let me go back up to the top of the page first of all. Heading level. Now this is what I do. I realize that all of the links going to the different web pages that come from my search results are heading level threes. And with NVDA, if you press one, you jump to heading level ones. If you press two, you jump to heading level twos. And if you press three, you jump to heading level threes all the way down to number six for heading level six. So in order to jump to your different search results, you would use your three. Main landmark clickable open broadcast software bar ob download link heading level forum link heading help link heading le install instructions link heading level you see it jumps me all the way to what i want and you know if you want to go back to the one that you just came from with all of these single letter navigation keys whether it be b or any one of them right now in this case it's my number three and i want to go back to the first result you would press shift plus that key so i'm gonna press shift plus three help link forum link download link clickable open broadcast now i'm gonna click on the link to go to the web page document busy blank open broadcaster software now when you go on a web page there again persons just start don't are going down line by line banner land link over github you don't want to go through all of that you just want to get to the meat of the matter. So what I suggest is when you go on most web pages, you use your H key to jump to headings. I would recommend using the heading numbers because you're not sure at what level they have their headings. So you just use your H key. OBS Studio heading level, premiere to your heading level three. Okay, and then you would decide by the headings if that's something you want to look into. Now, let me go back to the top. Banner land. Also, if you want to jump to links, you would use your your K key. OBS Discord link. OBS Twitter link. Now let me go back up to the top again. Visited link. Another thing I want to show you. Say for instance I'm on OBS right now. You know that the site that you're on you just want to look for the login button or you just want to look for the download so you can download what you're looking for. Here I suggest you to use the NVDA find option which is your NVDA key plus your control key plus your F. In my case, my NVIDIA key is my insert. So let me press insert plus control plus F. 
Find dialog. Type the. And now I want to search for the download button or link or whatever it is. I'm not sure if it's a button or a link or a heading, but I need to get to it. So here I'll use the find dialog and I'll just type in download. D O W N L O A D. Then I'll press enter. Navigation landmark list with five items link download. And there you go. It brings me directly to the download link. Now I just have a couple more things to show you. Let me go on a page that I know that I can find a box for you to register to log in. Document busy blank. Middle. All right, I'm currently on that page now. When you go on a page that you know there are edit fields on it, like for you to type in username or password or form fields for you to fill out some sort of form. What you could do, once again, is easily press your E key to jump straight to the edit boxes. Form username edit required invalid entry username. There we go. And then you would enter your username. Now, let me show you some quick tips for YouTube as well. Let me go to one of my videos. Clickable interviewing a blind IT accessibility specialist who is determined to increase tech accessibility by the Quinn 8 days ago. Now here I am on one of my latest videos. Let me click enter on it. He leaves a new and you need, you need Now to let him. me pause it. And he's able to put up on the right Main land. Okay. You see what I just did there? Let me go back. Now that I have it paused and I can speak to you. When you are on a video on YouTube, you don't have to navigate with your arrows all the way to the pause button or the play button or navigate all the way to the seek slider to be able to go back in the video or to go forward in the video. Here's what you do. You'd use your Nvidia key plus your spacebar to switch into focus mode. In my case, that is my insert plus my spacebar. Then the key to pause or play is your K key. K. What recommendations or suggestions? K. All right. Then the key to rewind is your J key and the key to fast forward is your L key. So let me play back the video and show you how the rewind and fast forward keys work. K. Do you have that? One? J. Yes, I got J. Uh, J. Have to make it happen. You yourself now let's rewind. You have to make it happen. Have to break the barrier. J. J. This famous statement. If now let's fast forward. Of, um, L. 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 Believe in you. And K. And there you go. And that's it. And you can always use your insert plus spacebar to come back out of focus mode when you're finished. Also, there's three others. Sometimes when you're filling out forms, you know, the check boxes or the radio buttons or the combo boxes, sometimes they're not so accessible and you want something that will put your focus directly on them. Well, these are also some quick navigation single letter keys that you can use. X brings you straight to a checkbox. C brings you straight to a combo box. And R brings you straight to a radio button. And F would bring you straight to a form field. Also, T would bring you directly to a table if you're looking for a table within a web page. And lastly, L would bring you to a list. Well, that is it guys. Hopefully this video has been a great help to you and I hope it would help you to be able to navigate your web pages more effectively, faster and more professional. Remember, the aim at the end of the day is to make persons who are sighted know that our disability does not limit us. We can still navigate things just as fast or even faster than them. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully you love this video and it was helpful to you. Be sure to like it if you love the content, subscribe if you're new and share it with others. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.